Welcome to this little video that's not going to help in the accusations that I'm a brony. I don't know and I don't care. So here is something that I noticed that I think My Little Pony Friendship is Magic does brilliantly. Now there are a lot of things that I like about the show but this is one of the subtle things that other people probably won't notice that much. But if you do notice it, it's, it's so bloody nice. Originally, this video was just going to be about Scootaloo, the little Pegasus from the Beauty Mark Crusaders. But that slightly changed when I just watched the Rainbow Road Trip kind of special episode, which is one hour long, which really does not feel one hour long, it feels so much shorter. I, yeah, I definitely really like it. And there are a lot of elements about it that I really like, but I want to talk about one in specific. One that probably everyone noticed, but probably not everyone noticed how nice it is. Let's talk about Kerfuffle. Kerfuffle is the designer pony in the town of Hope's Hollow. Now, surprisingly, I don't have an eye for fashion, neither in the pony world, nor in the real world. But apparently, she is also very good. The thing that most people will probably pick up on first though, is that she has a prosthetic leg. You want to know how many times that prosthetic leg is mentioned in the entire one hour long kind of episode special? A grand total of zero times. And I love it. This was one of those types of videos that the smart TV we have doesn't like. It likes to freeze the frame and then it has to kind of reload for quite a bit of time. I kind of like that in this one because oh my god I had so many thoughts about Kerfuffle. Because I love it. I love just... Okay, what people probably don't get, this is basically representation of disabled people. She is just a character, just a random character, and she just happens to have a prosthetic leg. It's not a point, it doesn't matter, it's just, it's there and it's never mentioned, it's just something that exists. You know, like disabled people, they also just exist. And yeah, as someone with a disabled brother, I kind of, I don't really have a vested interest in it or something. It's more, I pay slightly more attention to it probably, and by god did I just love it. I had to pause the video just multiple times because it's so nice, it's so... How many times do you see it? How many times do you see a disabled person where the disability isn't a point? It's not a plot point, it's nothing. It's just there. I think it's bloody brilliant. Same thing really with Scootaloo. Scootaloo has what I could e most easily describe as underdeveloped wings. She has them, but they are very tiny. She can't fly with them. Now she can still make some use of out of them. She has this... I think it's called a scooter? You know, one of those in Dutch it's a step. It's basically a board with a couple wheels on it. And she can use them then to move forward. Now, she also just has regular legs, but she is a Pegasus. So normally she would be able to fly, but at least so far, she isn't. And I think it came up in one or maybe two videos where she's bullied for it, which is, you know, the bad thing of the episode. And all other times, it's just something that is... It exists. She's a Pegasus, but she can't fly. And that's it. And I love it. I love that so much. I just... It's not a point. It's not anything, really. It's just something that is in the world. And she is one of the main characters. I mean, kind of the secondary main characters. My Little Pony has a lot of characters, but yeah, not of the main six, 
and Starlight. She is about as main as you probably can get with... Yeah, the terminology really doesn't work, but yeah. You see her very often. She has quite a big role in the show. And she is... She has a disability. And it's just there, and I love that. Really, I think we could do with more media that utilizes disabled people that represents disabilities where it's not a plot point it's just something that exists in the world because you know that's how reality is disabled people do just exist in the world they i mean sometimes they walk around sometimes they have to you know, drive around in a wheelchair or something similar. Sometimes you cross across someone who only has one arm left. Or, I mean, one eye also exists, but one eye probably is less noticeable, because that's also a thing. A lot of disabilities are not visible. Mental disabilities, yet yeah, they are very often hard to notice. I'm pretty sure that, for instance, also Dyslexia technically counts as a disability. Now, I personally wouldn't call myself disabled because, you know, I have a very disabled brother, so I never saw... I'm not like him, so in my mind I'm not disabled, which is pretty much objectively wrong, but... A lot of disabilities you don't see. But just having visually disabled people in shows and it's not a point, it's not something to... It's just there? I think... I think society really could just use that. Yeah, this is probably just a me thing, because... Other people on the planet probably don't notice, or they don't care. Probably both most of the time. But yeah, I adore it. There might be a more... Coherent form of this video coming out at a later date but yeah I love this I would say at least probably if you like my stuff or well probably not even just in general take a look at the My Little Pony Rainbow Road Trip I'll add a link in the description to where I saw it on YouTube probably just give My Little Pony Friendship is Magic a try because it's fucking brilliant but yeah I love this it was bloody brilliant this has been Phoenix saying farewell. Mm -hmm.